So yeah, I've been in a travel agent since 2018. Use, you can continue your skincare regimen that your esthetician does for you in a spa. I went upstairs, I was so sad, crying, crying, crying. Then I started praying. So y'all probably saw I wasn't wearing my knee brace earlier. Fun fact, I only went, oh shh, you see that? This is the real reality. Y'all, I'd be so tired. <laughs> I've been saying I'm going to start back my YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to start it like now with my sheets out on my bed. I'm laying on top of a comforter with a comforter comfort covering me. No pillowcases because I washed all the stuff, right? And I just didn't put it back on. You know, we get in our own way. And I'm just going to start now real raw authentic so y'all can see what it takes to build up and be your best self so right now i'm kind of like working toward it um i've been slacking a lot in my apartment i never got it all the way together i have a brand new house so me and my boyfriend purchased a home here in the greater orlando florida area i'm so excited to get it together i'm so happy for new beginnings and all of that but like I gotta get it together first. Today, I'm gonna be donating two or three bags of clothes to Trashy. If you never heard of Trashy, I can put my link down below. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be step one. I have a flight today at 2, 2 p.m. So I have to be leaving for the airport around 11.30. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. I'll see y'all in a second. So, you remember I did that light bulb video if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw my light bulb ad I had taken this one out and didn't put it back up there um, I'm gonna take that one that I did the ad for down because I don't have two and it mismatched right now everybody's last in the trash and look I got tampons in the sheen bag y'all get them <laughs> Yeah, this is not organized right now. I kind of just like brought things that needed to come to the bathroom, to the bathroom. So, got some random bathroom bags. Look at my tub, isn't it so cute? I need to set this up first. <laughs> I'm just gonna be as authentic as possible in this video. Like, y'all need to see it all. Got it set up, so. I do use the Aquasonic, I did promote it. This isn't the one that they sent me, I gave that one to my boyfriend, but I've been loving Aquasonic for years, so. The promotion I did for the Aquasonic toothbrush, it was very much real. If you want to check out this toothbrush and get you an electric toothbrush, that's true, because I've had this one for like, probably three years now, three or four. You change the head on it like that. So I haven't had the same toothbrush head for three or four years, but I had the same base for three or four years. Dermalogica. Best skin care products to me. Um, I was trained in Cool about Dermalogica products. And really was shocked when they were released to the public because this was a professional brand before. So if you ever are in the Ulta where they sell Dermalogica, I don't know if it's in Sephora. I think it might be in Sephora now too. Um, I definitely highly recommend it. Easy to use. You can continue your skincare regimen that you're esthetician does for you in a spa a lot of spas carry Dermalogica um, you can continue it at home easily without having to go back to the spa to buy the product so
And I use this, uh, this is the wash. I use this washable skin around. Uh, so clear my face. And I also use this to get rid of makeup. That's why it looks a little bit crazy, but it's definitely clean. You can wash this in the washing machine when you're washing your face towels. And you should wash your face towels by yourself always. Always, always. always. Please don't wash the face towels with your clothes for the week. Don't wash your towel, your face towels with your body towel. And now I'm using the um the words are going because I've had this for a while. The Daily Microfoliant by Dermalogica. I'm gonna link both of these products down in the description below for y'all. Because these are go-to. These are super good for everyday use. This one is the special cleansing gel. This one is good for all skin types, it's very gentle. Um, if you have a sensitive skin, they have another one called the Ultra Calming. Um, but that one's good for sensitive skin as well. And this one just is a powder. I don't know if I showed y'all. You probably saw. It's a powder, and you mix it with a little bit of water. And depending on how granulate you want it to be, you mix it a lot or you mix it a little bit. So it's physical and chemical exfoliant. This one is super good if you have hyperpigmentation, if you're trying to get rid of some um, dark spots, that's what hyper hyperpigmentation is, some acne scars. Um, it also is good for getting rid of the dead skin cells on top, getting a little bit deeper than just with the regular um, facial cleanser. And it's chemical and physical. So when we say chemical as esthetician, we don't mean like chemical as in chemicals, like bleach. It's a chemical exfoliant. Um, it has a chemical compound that has a smaller molecular structure to go deeper and penetrate your skin. That way it cleans the dirt. Your skin has hundreds of layers. So it cleans the layers that we can't really even reach. This cleans the dermis. Dermis is the skin that you see the skin on top that is reachable by products like this. This can go a little bit into the epidermis because it's granulate, it's chemical, and it has a compound that can penetrate them. So, skin towels. We don't wanna dry our face with the same towel that we dry our body with. You want a towel like this that's pretty durable, but um, it's kind of like a paper towel, but it's soft like a tissue. It's kind of hard to explain. Like it won't hurt your skin. It's not rough, it's soft, and it's disposable. Meaning you're not spreading bacteria from your body to your face. And you are not reusing it and spreading bacteria from yesterday to today. So once you finish drying your face, you, um, throw this away. And then you go, I'm gonna go get my, um, toner. My toner and my, my moisturizer is under here. The one that I'm using today. This is the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. Um, it says Dermalogica Pro, but they do sell this in retail for consumers now. They don't sell this size, I believe. I'm not sure, because I buy my stuff professional. Um, they don't sell this size, but they do have it in Ulta, for sure. So once you spray your face with toner, you just want that to dry a little bit. And what toner does, it helps to make your skin ready to intake serums and oils and moisturizers. It helps these products penetrate deeper than if you don't use a toner. Some people use toner to as a part of like cleaning their face, but 
don't know how to, I don't know how to say this. Like, I don't feel that toner is the best thing to clean your face, just because it does open your your pores and stuff. But like I said, it helps things go deeper. If your pores are more more open, that means your face is susceptible to taking in the makeup. So it might be letting the makeup in. It just depends on what type of toner you have. And if it's a smart toner, they make all type of things. I do not create products yet. So I can't really break that all down. I am super interested in creating skincare products. Once I, once I have had the time. Right now I'm focused I've, I've noticed that I need to focus on one thing at a time. It really helps me. I didn't say what this is. This is the Super Rich Repair Moisturizer by Dermalogica. This is the professional size. It usually comes in a little bitty bottle, um, but it lasts a very long time. This is for people that are not acne prone. This one is for people who have skin that just soaks up moisture, like it needs more moisture. and. This will get you together. This one is good because it helps with, um, like I said, hyperpigmentation. But like, if you have skin that is super oily, stay away from this one. They have plenty of other different moisturizers. Um, one that's good for everybody if it's moist. So if you go and you have sensitive skin or you have um, skin that's a little bit more oily on the oily side, and make sure you know your skin type because you might think you're oily and you're really not oily. You might be making yourself oily by not drinking enough water. <laughs> Go to your local institution to get to get a um, skin examination for sure. All right, y'all. I'm going to take y'all down. Where am I going next? So I finished my, that's my little morning routine. I do my skincare. I do my, I brush my teeth. I do my skincare. <sighs> Today is a... Let me go look at my DMO, <laughs> cause I write it down. I wrote it down last night and I'm trying to stay on track with writing that down every day. Y'all, I washed my dishes last night, so I didn't skip over that, but I need to get all of this together. Like, I want y'all to see the real before, um, <laughs> before I clean it up. Do y'all like cleaning videos? I know some people like that stuff. Let me set the camera up and I'm gonna make this a little cleaning morning routine. and use them like at the same time. I forgot about that. <sighs> I'm just gonna talk loud because my phone is on 5% and I have it plugged in right inside my ring light. So I was supposed to get up this morning, go work out, <laughs> cook breakfast, reach out to some people that I want to invite to my travel community. None of that happened. And sometimes you just have to let yourself know like, that's okay, there's always tomorrow, but get up now and start now. So that's why I'm doing this YouTube video, to keep myself accountable. Um, I haven't ate anything today. So I'm gonna drink a protein shake. This just reminded me. And Um, I've been doing a lot of meal prepping with these meal kits. I've had Green Chef, Dinnerly, and what's the other one that I have? Is it? Oh, Every Plate. I haven't used any of the Every Plate stuff yet, but I am going to cook dinner today. Um, so I'll probably make that a video for tomorrow. So if you're interested in meal kits and cooking, I'll be doing that here too. This is a vlog, so you might get travel, you might get cooking, you might get morning routines, you might get skincare. I do a little bit of a lot. <laughs> so, and the light is not on. 
Let me see. Does it look better with the light? Without it. Oh, with the light, it look a little yellow. It's fine though. I like warm. I like warm looks. See, these are part of one of my meal kits that I was supposed to be cooking, but I did cook because my boyfriend is a let's eat now type of person. We went and got pizza yesterday. I need to get some of that that jet stuff that dries your dishes good in the dishwasher. Because I did not eat healthy yesterday at all. What I ate? I ate like a granola bar. What does it smell sour? The orange juice that was around the room. I gotta wash this. <laughs> this is a water bottle, a smart water bottle, y'all. It has water in it now. But yesterday, I was trying to be quick and lazy. I just grabbed the first bottle that I saw, and I put orange juice in here. That was not a good. That was not a good idea. Mm. I'm collaboration with this water bottle on my Instagram as well. Smart water bottle, amazing. So, if you like to track your water intake or you need motivation, there's an app that goes with this bottle. If you do have to charge, it's dead right now. You saw it flash red. You do have to charge the top, which is the only thing that I don't like about it. My charger right over there by my Alexa, my wine cabinet, and my Keurig and all of that stuff. So, whenever I need to charge this, I just go take it over there. But it's kind of annoying because the battery doesn't last probably about three days if you really use it. Y'all want to hear a story time? So, I ended up going to a new church last week. Um, no, that was this week. Is it Saturday? See, it's, it, it's, it's, it's Thursday. I don't know my days of the week because I don't work a nine to five most of the time. I do have a nine to five. So when I say I don't work a nine to five, I say that purposely. Um, I have a nine to five, part time. So I don't have a full-time job, that's not a lie. Um, and I be giving up shifts. I actually have two part-time jobs. I haven't seen one of them in like three months. So I might still be on payroll, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but like I was saying, I went to a new church close to me. Um, yes, third day. On Sunday, this past Sunday, I went to a new church. Something was in my, like, just saying to me, go to the church, go to the church, go to the church. So I went to the church, and I ended up going for Sunday school, because I thought 9.30 was the church start time, but it was Sunday school. And I had something to do later that day, around 12 anyway. So I went to Sunday school, and the people were super nice. They were nice, and it's crazy because, you know what happened? I met this man, because I'm a, I'm a, um, I was a Lyft driver. I haven't Lyft driven in a very long time. Um, I met this man that I was his Lyft driver before. It's crazy because he didn't even know. We didn't know each other. But he saw my car. He saw the Lyft sticker. And he was like, do you offer like personal chauffeur services? Like, can I pay you off a of Lyft time? I was like, like sure, like I plan on going to that church more often. It was gonna be a personal thing, not business. I was like, yeah, I can help you out. It was no money involved. He didn't say he was gonna pay me. So I was like, yeah, I, I can take you on a few errands. Like I have nothing to do. It was Monday. I have nothing to do Monday. I can help out somebody. Paying it for it. So, so, so when it's my time, somebody will do the same for me. That's not why I did it, but that's how the world works. So he gives me his number. Why I put his number in and I got the man number already. He had already asked me to be his, his driver a while ago. Cause I guess something happened to his car. And when I was his Lyft driver, he had asked me that. And it's crazy because that was in 2023. Like January or February, 2023. It is 2024. 
is 2024. So you see how the world works? Like I was living, I was living all the way. I think I was living in Winter Park at the time. Yeah, I was living in Winter Park. I was not living in Kissimmee. When I picked him up, I think I was taking him from his doctor's office all the way to over here, where I currently live at. He lives in the same city. It's crazy how God works. Anyways, I said all that to say, he took care of me. I took care of him. The world is, you, the more you give, the more you get. He saw that my windshield wiper blades need replacing. So when I took him to Walmart, I took him to a various stops to go get his haircut. Like I was the personal chauffeur for about three and a half hours. He came out of Walmart with the wiper blades. Like he asked me what year my car was before he went in. And he bought me brand new wiper blades. Let me show y'all. So, the more good deeds you do, the more you get back. You don't do stuff out of wanting something back. You do something out of, this is what I want somebody to do, to do for me. You see how I get distracted? All that time I ain't clean nothing. Let's get all these meal kits. from when I went to the church, y'all. Hope it's still recording. What's my foot? Oh, I don't need to flush. So this is a book that they gave me when I walked in. I loved it over there. When I walked into the church, like first time there, Sunday school, um, they told me about all the events that they had, how they go on kayaking trips. And I was like, they was like, they did a mission trip to the Dominican Republic last year. I'm like, I never did a mission trip. I've been a Christian since third grade. I gave my life to Jesus Christ in third grade um, after experiencing a miracle <laughs> with my pet. Like, I had a duck named Ducky. And um, Ducky almost died because I thought ducks were supposed to swim underwater. And I found out that they're not because I, I almost drowned them. He was very sick after I did that. And 
and he was very sick. I thought he was gonna die. My mom wrapped him up in some towels and blankets so he could get warm again. He probably had like, I don't know what it's called, but he he had something. We didn't take him to no vet. We didn't hate, we did not take him to a vet. But my mom was like, he he was shivering. Just just leave him alone, maybe he'll get better. Wrap him up down in the um at the time. It's our it's our gift. And at the time it was like a storage space because it was just concrete and it was like a patio, a screened in patio in the back of our house. So we had the duck down there. Had it all over basically. Um and then I went upstairs, I was so sad, crying, crying, crying. Then I started praying. I wasn't praying with my mom, I was praying by myself. And I prayed and I was like, I love my mommy, I love my daddy, I love my sister. I love my ducky. God, please save my duck. <laughs> I swear, I remember this so clearly. And as soon as I said that, my duck started quacking. Like quacking like he saw something, like something hurt him or he saw something. So me and my mom went back down to the uh, patio, the screen in patio area and Ducky was walking around in circles quacking, like half the clacking. Quack, 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 quack. Y'all, I'm telling you, if y'all saw this, I'm gonna ask my mom to tell us a couple articles. So, to me, that was life changing. Like, I was like, okay, so whenever I pray, it really does work. It really does work. Whenever I pray, because I believe. You have to believe when you pray. You can't just be saying stuff to God and like not actually believe in it. Not actually believe in it. Not actually believe that it's going to happen. Not actually believe in Him. I pray up on a lot of stuff. My boyfriend I have now, I pray up on him. <laughs> That's a funny story. But I'll say all that later. The house I'm in right now, prayed up on it. So, if you don't believe, just keep watching my, just keep watching me because I'm telling y'all everything that I have, I pray for it. I pray for it. I pray for it. I pray for it. And I continue to serve others, and I continue to not be selfish, and I continue to I always say to see the good side of things, even when my life is going. Horribly, because I've had a lot of downtimes. Just because I pray doesn't mean I don't face um, trials, tribulations. I, I face all of that stuff. So. Um, four knee surgeries deep. Four knee surgeries. Two of them was back to back. One day didn't next day. Got called. Said. Come back in, we forgot to clamp something down. We saw it on the x-ray. Yep. And that led to my discharge from the US military, which was, it was all the journey. But hey, look y'all, I'm still here. I'm still happy. I'm still pushing. Why not you? Why not you? <sighs> yep.
I get some more hand soap. I'm gonna partner with the hand soap company real soon. They already have a available UGC content open for me to make some content for them. So I'm gonna plug them in my next video. So next time you see me using this soap, it won't be this soap, it will be a different one. But I'll show y'all the packaging from the company that I'll be using. Um, Oh, let me put my card for today. So I have bought these cards a while ago, back when I was in my first apartment here in Orlando, well, Winter Park and the greater Orlando area. Whenever I say Orlando, I might be talking about Poinciana, I might be talking about Kissimmee, I might be talking about Four Corners, I might be talking about Winter Park. I've stayed in many places around Orlando. This is my card for today. I have failed many times, many times in my life, but more importantly, I've learned from every setback, proudly owned up to my mistakes, grown from my disappointments, and now <laughs> I'm a Glamazon bitch ready for the runway. That's crazy. This is by Adam Rapone. And I'm gonna put that over here on my camera. My car is every day, I've been doing that. Garbage. Um, I bought when after I pull them, I've been sitting them right here as reminders, and that I've already pulled them. Um, this is like my little coffee smoothie wine area where I have beverages. So, this is the beverage area. Um, I have skinny sticks, which I just got and promoted this. Well, I don't think I posted it yet. I just got this and recorded the content for it yesterday. Oh, and then I have Sheila, 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 I don't know how to pronounce this, but I've heard a lot of influencers have, influencers have been working with this brand and promoting it. And I will start using this when I get back from my trip that I'm going on this weekend. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like help with home health. So I'm gonna use this in combination with um this grounding mat that i applied to be an influencer for so i'll link all of this in down in the description box below that i'm showing you so skinny sticks is from amazon this is from amazon um what else did i show y'all my toothbrush is from amazon there was something else when i go back and watch and edit this video i'll link it down below so yeah Oh, 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 can't spin y'all around like that. Gotta turn the whole stand in the balance of it. Acrylic sign. 
but I want it cut out, like a cut out sign. I could just put a light behind it or above it. See, this is how my creative brain be running. All the time. I get so distracted from stuff. If you're creative and you want to know how to find it with brains, um, drop your drop your Instagram tag down below. I'll send you a free template that I used to send out. And I'll send you one of my companies that I work with that connect me with brands. And actually I'll put the link for the company that I work with down below. But if you want the template, message me on Instagram at the Vacation Queen or at QCAUDRII. QCRG. QCAUDRI. Washing your hands with dish, dish soap is not good because it strips your hands of everything. You know, dish soap is made to remove oils from dishes, like heavy oils. So you don't want to use dish soap on your hand. It's always good to have a hand soap near your sink because you know you're going to want to wash your hands at some point. <sighs> Let me take this stuff. Oh, this candle is also sponsored by me. I mean, this candle didn't sponsor this video, but this candle is also one of my partners. Yield. I'll link that down below. So, I want y'all to know this. Sometimes, a lot of the times, y'all see these influential people, these influencers and stuff, but all this nice stuff. But remember, we influencers. This is our business. We get this stuff for free. Actually, we get paid to put this stuff on our platform a lot of the time. Now, everything that you see for me, I'm a micro influencer. Everything you see from me is not all paid. You might know some of these words in the background. This is paid. This I was paid to promote. This I was paid to promote. A few things you see, I got I got for free or I got a check to put it on my platform. But everything, I'm not gonna specifically talk about the things that I wasn't paid to talk about. Unless I really, 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 really like it. Like Dermalogica technically doesn't pay me, but I'm Amazon, that's another thing. I could probably monetize off of anything that you see because I'm an Amazon influencer. So if you see Amazon links, I do get paid off every single promotion, every single click. When you click that link and buy something, I get paid for that. And I can teach you how to do the same thing. I don't gatekeep. I don't gatekeep, it's just that people don't ask the questions. You don't ask the questions, why am I, you know? But if people ask questions, I'll give answers. Inbox me, it's always open. I don't have, I don't think I have my page on. You have to follow me and then you can inbox me. That's it. I'm a regular person. I'm just very fortunate, and I pray a lot. I pray a lot, y'all. So, I think that's it for this video, because it's probably long at this point. We went through my whole little clean up the kitchen routine with me this time, which I need to send out some emails, so I'm gonna keep that right here. Um, my mic right there, keep my sharpie. Nice and clean. Do a 
before and after. I'm leaving my laptop, my mic, my crochet go cards, my yield candle up there. I do need to do the dishes again now, but here we are. Because I'm about 210 pounds right now. Um, and I would love to not be 210 pounds. So this video is sponsored by Skinny Sticks. Shout out Skinny Sticks. Skinny Sticks is a drink supplement that you can drink before all of your meals. So no more than three times a day to help you burn fat and increase your energy. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. These two boxes, what the hell, Jerry? <laughs> Y'all. So it's a difference between messy and dirty. But all of this is clean. All washed. Um, as you can see, we're still getting our life together in here. Um, I got to go through all of this stuff and see what I want to donate. I have 10 of, 10 of these bags. I already donated two. That's two more. That one's almost full. And I have one right here that I'm about to fill up real quick so I can go to the post office. And also, I'm going to, let's see, go and, let's see, take this card right here to my winner of my giveaway that I did last night. So, if you're interested in becoming a travel agent, travel influencer, let me know. I do weekly meetings with my team to introduce the travel community with people so you can get discounts on travel. You can also make and save money on travel. Like you can make money from your friends and families, trips and all of that. So y'all can see me. Um, so yeah, I've been a travel agent since 2018. Um, I did stop at some point because I was just having the financial issues and I was a flight attendant for a little bit because when I got out of the military, I randomly applied to be a flight attendant. I didn't look up how to do it. I just got lucky. And I even got stationed. I even got based here in Orlando. And that's how I ended up here. So long story short, I ended up in Orlando because I love travel. And I'm still here because I love my boyfriend. But um, yeah, <laughs> if you're interested, let me know. Take back bag the take back bag by trashy.io it's really great i'm gonna put the link for them down in my bio as well um so y'all can donate your recycled clothes and they give you money for every bag that you send in twenty dollars for every bag that you send in because i've been taking stuff to goodwill and national like dropping it in the little boxes uh what is it called the salvation army and dropping it in, in those little donation boxes but i was like i saw this online i'm like i'm donating clothes anyway why not get credit for it so i think i have 50 in credit right now because i did two 20s and they gave me a bonus of 10 so i have 50 dollars to use online at multiple re retailers that they give you the credit for but my lips is ashy um <laughs> Um, yeah, I said I was going to do that and I almost forgot. That's why I hopped on here to show y'all the bags real quick. And my phone's dying, so I'm sorry. Y'all not going to get to look through my clothes with me. But maybe next time. Next time I fill up two bags next week. Thank you for tuning in. At the post office. 
I'm about to drop off these packages and ship off this car. Yeah, I just want to get y'all a snippet of what I be doing to save money. Um, my windshield wipers are crusty. So like I said, somebody blessed me with some new windshield wipers because I was just putting it off. I'm like, I can see still, it's still, they still work. So I am replacing my windshield wipers and it's so easy. Girls, go on YouTube and learn how to do this stuff. Like, let me show you how I can do it. One handed, left handed, easy. And if you want to take the whole thing off, you just press down and you pull it off. And now I'm going to replace it. Hardest thing about this probably is the packaging. Now, remember that I was an electrician, so I know how to troubleshoot and I know how to figure stuff out. I was an electrician in the Navy. Now, let's crank it up and try them out. Perfect. I think these actually fit better than my other ones. Yeah, I um, I have like one hour to get ready to go on my flight, so I'm done doing all my errands that I need to do today. I took, I packed up some clothes. I donated some clothes with my Trashy.io. I took my gift card that I gave away yesterday to the post office to ship that off to my winner, and now I'm just gonna. Pack up. I'll be gone for a, the weekend, in and out. Um, my best friend is having a baby again, and I can't wait to go to a baby shower um, this weekend. So we will be back to normal scheduled programming. I might still post, <laughs> but normal scheduled programming uh, on Sunday when I return or Monday, because Sunday is the day of rest. Love y'all. No, I keep saying, this is my last thing. This is my last thing. This is my last thing. But I'm doing something else, fam. And I want y'all to keep me accountable. So now I am about to hang my pictures that y'all saw on the floor earlier up before I leave for this trip. I'm just going to put one up right now because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. And this is trial. Oh, this is better. This is trial and error right now. And if this falls down, um, it's plastic. I made this myself. If you want to see that video, it is on TikTok. I might have put it on Instagram soon. It's a little, a little bit creepy. But let's see. Oh, it's still in the in the middle. It needs to. This side needs to come up a little bit. But it looks good. Looks good, right? If I, you can't really tell that it's cricket from right here, but it's a little bit cricket. And I gotta put my other two up, but I'm not doing that today. I just wanted to test out and see how that went. <laughs> so y'all probably saw I wasn't wearing my knee brace earlier. Fun fact, I only wear, oh, you see that? <laughs> Fun fact, I only wear my knee brace when I'm gonna be around big crowds and people that don't know that I am injured. That way, it's like a warning that if you bump into me, I might fall, I might lose balance, I'm not 100% abled, even though I try my best to act like it.
When I say the ghetto, I mean general population. Like, I should have never started putting myself in lounges and stuff on my international trips because it gets real ghetto. And I'm flying so plane, so y'all know how to go. So this time, I have a flight with a layover because I was trying to save a little bit of coin. I have like 12 flights coming up over the next two months. And yeah, your girl need to not splurge on flights. She just need to get there. Even after that super long day that y'all saw I had and two flights, I decided that I wanted to go out and see DJ Mustard because he was in town. Before I got to get ready and go over there to Hakkasan to see him, y'all look at what I had to go through. It's too many people in Vegas for Labor Day weekend. Y'all, y'all need to have more vacation time because ain't no way everybody's taking off at the same time. Y'all, I know I've been to Vegas like 20 million times already but the lights never cease to amaze me like it gets better and better every time so I did all of this before I even went to my apartment to shut it down and I will see y'all in the next video thanks for watching to the end